What's up, YouTube? So in today's video, we're making two types of vegan cheeses. One is a cashew base, and one is a Brazil nut base. And they're gonna be a mozzarella style vegan cheese. This recipe, I obtained it from Mary's Test Kitchen. I tried this recipe years ago, and it was great, which is why I came back and I'm doing it again. Um, I'm not vegan, but I do enjoy a lot of vegan dishes. And I want to go back to a more healthier lifestyle. So I'm, um, <laughs> I'm incorporating my vegan dishes back into my everyday meals, I guess. So for this recipe, you're going to need your batch of cashews or Brazil nuts, your cultured batch, which there's an, a video in the playlist showing you how to do that. So you're going to take your ingredients, the cashew. We're going to begin with the cashews. You're going to take the cashews, <laughs> the cashew <laughs> culture cheese, and you're going to dump it in a pot or a bowl. I just went for the pot because I was having some issues with the bowl. So I put it in a pot. Along with that, you're going to need four tablespoons of tapioca flour, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two organic or non-organic, whatever oil you have. I use grapeseed oil. One tablespoon of kappa carrageenan, one teaspoon of xanthan gum. The recipe says it's optional, but I, I put it in there. One to one and a half teaspoons of salt. I went with the one because, like I said, I'm making a brine. One clove of garlic. I did not mince mine, I sliced it open. So it's still one whole garlic, but slit. And a half a cup of water or more if you need that. So yeah, you're gonna place all of these into the pot, mix them up, doesn't matter in what order, just throw them in there. You're gonna begin to mix until it begins to thicken. Now, I believe I added too much water so mine didn't get to the texture that I really wanted it to get to. Or maybe I should have added more tapioca because my batch was probably a little more than half a cup. So whatever, but it's gonna begin, the batch is gonna begin to release itself from the pot and it's gonna really stick to your spoon. So once it gets to a, to this point it's pretty much done and then you can take it and you can place it in a dish and put it in a refrigerator
or you can do what I did, which is I took, um, initially I tried to put these in pints. It did not work. I had to move up to quarts, quart size jars. So I filled up maybe two, two, maybe, a, yeah, maybe two tablespoons. I didn't measure two tablespoons of salt and half a jar of, um, water. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go give the recipe a try. The longer you let the, the cheese, the vegan cheese sit in the fridge, the, the better it tastes. Um, I went back, I forgot how many days. It was a couple of days. Excuse me. It was a couple of days. And I, um, I put, I think it, it was the Brazil nut. I used the Brazil nut with a different cheese that I'm going to show you guys in a couple of days. I'll post that. It's more of a nacho cheese. And I mixed the two, threw them on a tortilla, made that joint a quesadilla. It was banging. But I tried the, the mozzarella on its own, and I said, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is going great. So give this recipe a try. Let me, know, um, let me know how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed the video, and bye for now.